Thus far this semester we have discussed all the major Greek philosophers. However, there remains one philosopher whom we have not mentioned, Diogenes the Cynic. Now, many consider my namesake to be of only minor importance, but I disagree, for Diogenes was the most unusual man even by philosopher's standards. He was unusual because he lived the philosophy he preached. Ancient lore has it that he lived the simplest life, ate the coarsest bread, and shunned the material life altogether. But what of Diogenes the Cynic? What was he really like? Hmm, what was Diogenes really like? Come on, Jack, we're going to play ball. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Come on. No, I'm too busy. I want to get through with these 20 volumes before school reopens. And anyway, my parents are away and I have to watch the house. Oh. 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 Oh, come on, Jack, be a sport. Sports is but a mere trifle in life. I'm not content to pick at the crumbs. You should consider spending more time with your studies rather than playing with sports. Whew. I thought they'd never leave. Now, where was I? Here we go. She reached down and pulled her red dress over her head, revealing her creamy white flesh, her soft sloping buttocks, and her firm young breast. His heart was pounding. because I know you're busy wearing out another mirror. But I wasn't looking in the mirror. I was just inside. I don't care. Just come out here and listen to me. I've been keeping an eye on young Jack Diogenes next door, and he seems to be a really ambitious fellow, not like those other boys you know. Jack Diogenes? Ew, you're right. He's not like those other boys. Listen, your mother has been around for a long time, and I could tell you that that Diogenes fellow is... Now go get yourself fixed up so you could visit Diogenes. But mother, he's ugly and stupid. He may be those things, but later he'll be ugly, stupid, and loaded, and the first two won't count so much. Well, why don't I wait till he's all three, and then I'll go over and see him? Because by that time, every fortune hunter in town is going to be after him. You've got to stake your claim now. And if things don't work out, you could dump him the way I dumped your father. Now go put on your best dress and stake your claim. Get moving! stories about Diogenes was the one where he takes a lantern and goes into the streets of Athens at night. And shining his lantern into the faces of strangers, he asks, I'm looking for an honest man. I'm looking. 
looking for an honest man. Hey, I'd settle for a dishonest man. Do you know anybody? I'm looking for an honest man. Oh my God, you're gonna be looking for a long time. I'm looking for an honest man. Well, I'm an attorney from Beauregard and Beauregard. Oh, just forget it. And we at Beauregard and Beauregard say money can't buy an honest man, but it can buy a dishonest lawyer. I'm looking for an honest man. Jack! 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 Come on! We always leave you staring into space. You guys are missing everything playing golf. These grounds are beautiful. You know, Jack, in all the 20 years I've known you, you never do anything. You just walk and stare. You should just walk and enjoy. Well, you gotta give him credit, R.G. He doesn't do anything, but he's awfully good at it. Like when he goes to the ocean. With, With the surfboard, surfboard and he, he just stands, stands there, there staring, staring at the waves. I'm waiting, waiting for an honest wave. wave. What, what the hell is an honest wave? wave? You call that philosophy? I swear he's been staring at the water so long he's gonna turn into a bulkhead. That's what I'll tell all my friends. I'm married to a bulkhead. <laughs> We thought you were out for the count. Where's my class? Now don't you worry about anything. You took a nasty shot to the head. Hey, do you play cards, man? Cards? Hey, yeah, man. We need a fourth for strip poker. Isn't this place a little crowded? Would you like a private room? Oh, private room. Did you hear that? Yeah, we heard it. Maybe she called room service and ordered a steak. <laughs> yeah, steak in the heart. Steak in the heart sounds like a good idea. Yeah, steak, steak in the heart. heart. Steak in the 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 heart. All right, you're having a bad dream. Oh, that was horrible. Oh my gosh, you're in a cold sweat. Oh, I'm okay now. I'm okay. Okay, listen, why don't you watch the ball game, try and relax while I go downtown? Yeah, that sounds good. I haven't okay. seen a Yankee game in weeks. You know, I appreciate you trying to make me feel good. And I'm so glad you're taking care of all of this for me. I don't know what I'd do without you. I don't know what the Yanks would do without Reggie Dolly. as he comes to the play with the bases loaded in the bottom of the ninth. Diana, you're still a beautiful woman. Oh, didn't take you long to start flirting. I wasn't flirting. Well, all right, maybe I was flirting, but... I'm telling the truth. You really are a beautiful woman. Oh, Reggie's okay, flirting with disaster as he looks at another two pitch. Just that. Reggie, Reggie. Argy. Oh, Argy. You know we shouldn't be doing this. Oh, I know, I know, but from now on, why don't you call me Ralph? Okay. Reggie, Reggie, Reggie. It's a home run. Hey. This is so nice. It ought to be against the wall. It is. Kiss me again. I can't get this. It's not a snap. It's a button. Oh. There you go. Mm. Honest man. I must find an honest man. My son. My son. Come here. Come here. I'm looking for an honest man. My son, if you are looking for an honest man, you must go to the church. To the church? The church, trust me.
God is dead. Maybe you should go to the hospital for x-rays. Oh, no, that won't be necessary. I'm okay now. Everybody back in your seats. Where are my lecture notes? Now, as I was saying, Diogenes was looking for an honest man, but he never found one despite his continued nightly searches. Therefore, and therefore, Diogenes chose to kill himself. And in that spirit, I shall do the same. Jack! Jack! What's the matter with you? We always leave you staring into space somewhere. Stake in the heart! Stake in the heart! Go to the church. <laughs> like the pearly gates to me. Yeah, and I don't like St. Peter. Looks more like the golden arches to me. Have it your way. Well, what are you waiting for? Why don't you let me in? You don't just get let in. You've got to earn your way in. Earn my way? How do I do that? By turning this wheel. Just by turning this wheel? And the door will open. This is hell. You gotta be kidding. Look at this place. This can't be hell. This is hell, all right. Good morning. Good morning. Well, Diogenes, I see you finally made it. Welcome aboard. This has got to be a put-on. I assure you, Diogenes, this is no put-on. But I don't understand this. This is... Enough! <laughs> <laughs> Diogenes, Diogenes, rise and rise to heaven. 